All right, so uh, thank you for watching this video. If you're here, it's probably because you're having uh, water problems, um, whether it be surging water or low pressure or no water at all. Um, in this video, I'm going to discuss the bladder tank and what it's made of and how it works. Now, to sit here and distinguish whether or not you have a bad tank, there's three ways you can go about it. The first thing is find your air valve on top. Press the air valve schrader on the inside. You can hear that air comes out. Now, if water were to come out, replace the tank because the bladder is bad. The second test is the knock test. Sounds like a hollow bell. It's empty of water. That's a good thing. Even if, even if you have water pressure on it and you knock on it, it should sound hollow like that. The third test is the lean test. Try to move the tank. If the bladder was bad, this tank is going to weigh 160 pounds. If you would not be able to budget if the bladder is bad. It only holds about 7 gallons of water when the system is working properly. If you had a bad bladder and this tank is full, you have to get a large drill bit, drill a hole here, a hole here, and a hole here, and just let it drain out before you're going to be able to move it. Now, what is inside of this tank? Let me explain it. So basically, your control T with all your controls are on here. I'll go over that in another video. Um, water goes in, and basically it's filling up a giant balloon. And as the water fills up the giant balloon, just like every balloon that you've ever seen, it's just like that inside of here. And how it works is the balloon swells, and as the balloon swells, there's air pressure trapped inside of this tank that's pushing back against that balloon. Now this switch is going to be satisfied when it reaches a certain amount of pressure. You'll notice that inside of the switch lid it says cut on, cut off in the top right hand corner. Your cut on will be your smaller number which is the number you want to worry about. Whatever your on number is, the air pressure in this tank needs to be two pounds, I'd say five to two pounds below whatever that is. So that says 40, so we need to have 35 to 38 pounds of air pressure in this tank when there's no water in it. There's no way that you can distinguish how much air is in it if you still have water in it. You've got to evacuate your bladder. So, with that being said, how do we test it? First thing we're going to do, find your breaker panel in your house. Find the well breaker. Your well breaker typically, 99% of the time, is going to be a double breaker like this right here. It's banded together. That will be a 240 volt breaker. Typically it is a 20 amp breaker and most of the time it'll be labeled well. Sometimes you'll have wells that are on 110 volt circuits. Those are rare. So we turn that off. We go to our faucets in our house. We open our faucet until no water comes out. We go find our bladder tank. Typically it's either under the house or out at the well. So we're going to go out there. Now we've drained all the water pressure off and we don't have any electricity. We're going to do our three tests that we talked about. The knock test, the air pressure check, and try to tip the tank just a little. If we can move it, then it's good. So we're going to get an air pressure gauge and we're going to check how much air we have in there. Once we figure out how much air, let's just say it had 13. Then we're going to go down here to our switch and we're going to look underneath our switch and it should tell us in the corner of the switch what the cut on value is. If the cut on value is 20 and the off value is 40, they make three different size switches. 20, 40, 30, 50, and 40, 60. We run 40, 60 because that's the highest pressure that you can get and everybody wants more pressure. So if we have that, we want to make sure whatever our on number is, our tank is. That will give you your optimum run time for your pump and the best pressure in your house. So that's what uh, basically to do it at home. If you're running weak on pressure, check your air. If it's low, if it's like 10 pounds low, 18 pounds low, whatever it is. You know, if it's 5 pounds low, that's fine. Don't worry about it. But if it's 10 pounds low... There's a drawdown going on in your tank, and it has 10 pounds less air pressure in it to push that water back out. So if you go ahead and get an air compressor and air up your tank, and keeping your air pressure in your tank two pound, you know, five to two pounds below, whatever that cut on is, you're going to increase 
your water pressure inside your house. Now, typically when people want to know, is my tank bad, they have a problem of surging water. High and low pressure constantly in the house. You'll notice your faucet, it'll go up and down, up and down, up and down, real fast. You either notice it at your kitchen sink or you notice it in the shower. That's typically where it is. What that's doing is cycling your well pump on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. Your well pumps are designed to run on a specific limit of start and stops. What kills a well pump is it's starting and stopping. So you will prematurely kill your well pump if you do not maintain your bladder tank. So the bladder tank is basically the life source of your well pump. So if you have a very deep well pump, my advice is get a larger bladder tank because a 44 gallon, where this is a 20 gallon tank, 44 gallon tank will hold a little bit more than twice as much water it'll slow your cycle time down on your well pump itself. So that's what we want to do. If you have, say, a 100-foot well pump and it's a half horsepower, and a typical, typical house, you know, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 square foot with uh, four or five people, this 20-gallon pump tank is fine. If you have a, a big, giant house and you're irrigating your lawn, you have a big garden, uh, you have automatic water sprinklers and you really use a high demand of water, whatever it may be, you might want to buy a larger bladder tank. Um, but as far as that, this is about all I can explain for a bladder tank. If you have any questions on how anything works uh, for any of your well systems, you have a question, you're out of water, please comment on the video. Uh, my comments are live all the time. I try to respond to them within uh, you know, minutes or hours whenever I see the uh, notification pop up. I've helped uh, dozens of people across the United States with their, with their well issues. Um, you know, People who rent houses and they don't have the time to wait for a plumber and simple little fixes here and there. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment in the comments below. Give this video a like and please subscribe to my channel. And uh, I appreciate it. Y'all have a blessed evening.